Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the home button in the iPhone 5C. So first of all, before we get started, I just wanted to go over a few things that we're going to be needing today. And let's start with this. It's a plastic pry tool and a tweezers. You won't necessarily need all this stuff, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be using. We're going to be using these two screwdrivers. Now you will need these. This is a Phillips size 000 and it's a Torx size 0. So you're going to be needing those to doing any of these procedures on the iPhone. And we're also going to be using this suction cup tool here. And I'll explain in a bit what this is for. And I'll include links in the video description where I got these parts to fix the phone, where I got these tools to work on the phones, anything that I think might be helpful to you. I'll include links in the video description, so check them out there. So next what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the phone and you're going to want to use this Torx size 0 and you're going to want to remove these two screws right here on the bottom. I already got them removed but I just wanted to show you they're located right there so go ahead and remove those. So next what we're going to do is we're going to grab the phone and we're going to grab this tool right here and I'll explain in a bit how we use this but basically you're going to just slide this in here and you're going to go just above the home button and right there just so you clear the home button and you want to press down now if you have a broken screen where it's cracked right here so you can't get good suction, what you can do is put some clear plastic packaging tape over this and then it'll give this suction cup something to grab onto. Now what most people recommend and what they use is just these little suction cup tools, which you can use these, but it's so much easier in a way. These things aren't very much, they're like eight bucks I think for a tool like this. And it's just, it makes it so much easier because what you can do is just pry this apart like that, just like that. And sometimes there's like lint and stuff. If you have it in your pocket, your phone can have lint and stuff built up in these cracks here. Sometimes they come apart really hard with this because what you want to do, if you do pry up with one of these, just be careful that you don't pry in here with something sharp and damage your frame on your phone here. That's the biggest concern. So if you can get it up just a little bit, then you can usually pry something under one of these little slots right here and finish it off that way. But that's my main concern and caution for you guys is if you don't have a tool like this and you use the other suction cup tool, you're probably gonna, one way or the other, you're gonna need something suction cup. But So let's go ahead and continue on with the screen. So now that we've taken the suction cup tool off of the screen here, what we can do is just set the screen down and just carefully lift up, as you can see like this, and then go ahead and remove with the Phillips screwdriver, this is the Phillips size 000, like I was showing you, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove four screws here from this plate right there. And go ahead and remove that shield and just make sure that you put the screws in the right order when you take them off, that way you know how they go back together because they're all different sizes, some of them. So you wanna make sure you do that. And now I'm using a plastic pry tool. You can use your fingernails if you want, whatever you can get in there with. I recommend sticking with plastic just so you don't damage anything if you use a metal you can use something metal, but just be really careful if you do. And just go ahead and remove this connector right here. Remove this connector right here. And then this one over here. So those three connectors come apart and then the screen comes off just like that. To change the home button, what you will need to do is use your Phillips screwdriver and remove these two screws right here. Next, what we're gonna do is use something sharp. We're gonna pry up under this where these two gold connectors are right here, contact points. I'm gonna slide under there carefully with uh, get the adhesive out from under there. And then we can pry up and that part comes off just like that. So now usually when your home button isn't working anymore, it's not clicking right, it's this part here that's the only problem. But if you're wanting to change the whole home button, like if your home button itself is a problem, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you gotta carefully pry up under this rubber here. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna ruin this home button because these are only good for one time use really. And you're gonna need to get a rubber for the home button which I'll include a link in the video description where you can find it if you need to. And what you can do is you just need to pry up under part of this rubber here, get it started. Then a lot of times what you can do is push from the back side. Just push up on the home button like that. And the whole home button will pop out and now if you transfer the rubber over onto your new home button and what you're going to want to do is you want to line this home button up so it looks good when you're done. So you want to make sure that your home button is pretty much square when you're all done with the phone. So you can turn it here and there different ways when you 
are putting this rubber on. So make sure that your home button is straight. And then when you got that all figured out, what you're gonna wanna do is just grab this part and put it back on here. And the pegs line up right where this goes. And then just go ahead and put your two screws back in. So to reassemble, just grab your screen. And if you get down here close, just go ahead and start with this connector right here. And just put that right down in place. You can hear. So you can kind of feel it click in. Um, that one's a little bit tricky, but then just go ahead and do this next one. That one's a little easier to hear. Then you want to do the last one. Now just make sure they feel like they're all seated properly. And then you're going to want to grab your shield and set it down on there. And go ahead and put your four screws back in in the right order. So once you have all your screws in your shield there, you can go ahead and just set this down carefully. Then what we're going to want to do is as we tip up a little bit like this, we're going to want to get this top in first. And then we're going to just want to carefully set the phone down and just press down and work our way down around. Make sure it's down flush all the way around. And then go ahead and put your two screws back in the bottom. And you're all set. Thanks for watching.